High blood pressure. High blood pressure is easy. Just stop eating. Where we have the product to remove the pressure immediately. People go down to Honduras and in less than three days the pressure is down. The man just came from uh, Caymans. That's right, Caymans. Grand Caymans. He came down with high blood pressure, diabetes, and impotent. A young brother, 52. Three days later, man, my pressure is down. Dr. Sabi, my pressure is down. See, yes, I know that. What's the problem there? Why are you so amazed? Five days later, my sugar is gone. I don't have no more sugar. And then, on the tenth day, he come with his girlfriend telling me. I like to see that. Because I was impotent. And these old folks in Honduras was telling me to drink eggs. And wine and meat, cheese, butter. And the Mexicans say, you're crazy. Stop eating, and you can get all the sex you want. Stop eating, and it happened. So brothers, if you're in trouble, stop eating. And there's a product outside, they call it Viento. Brother, I don't care how much in deficit you are, you will be out in less than 24 hours. I know. I have to be abreast with that because my wife is 20 years younger than me. I can't allow this woman to get ahead of me. You understand? And she looks good and she's youthful. So I have to maintain energy. And I want all of you brothers to understand that that, that, uh, that stuff that we eat, wait. Just draw this for you, that we will see what it is I'm talking about. Because this is important. I recorded a man from the age of 15. I saw his life because I was a curious boy. Remember, I'm the boy that didn't go to school. So I was looking at things that the school boy was looking at or seeing. This man named Brindley. He was in his 20s, I was 21, he was 25, four years older than me. And he was the, the dude, a woman's man. <laughs> but when I was in my 40s and I went back to Honduras, Brindley was 46, I was 41. And Brindley was like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. His wife gone, she's a seamstress, she's gone a long time. But when he was young, he had every woman in the world. I said, Brenda, what happened? Man, you know, I'm old now. I said, hey, nigga, you're 46. I'm 41. <laughs> there again, what is old? What is old? Old is when you get to my age. 73, nigga, you old. Sure, I'm old. If I had a big belly on me, and I wore these glasses, and I was hooked up to a machine, and no woman was an old sick man beside her. So, brothers, look. Stop eating blood. Because when you get to my age, you want to be healthy. You want to be playing with her. Right? Sure you do. Why not? She's your companion. You want to play in life with this woman. Really couldn't. Why? You see, this stuff right here. <laughs> this is what a man plays his manhoodness with, his penis. Yeah, I'm a man. But in here, to keep this penis erected, these little orifices, they call veins and the rest, has to be opened for the blood to flow, or else... <laughs>
you, you think I can't talk about it? I was 30 years of age. That was happening to me. And the last person that saw that was a woman named Audrey Williams. She said, what's wrong with you? I said, I don't know. She said, you're sick. You better see a doctor because you're too young. You're 30 years of age. And I did. And it happened. But I had to stop eating. On the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh day, I was happy. On the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I was going and holding on to the bathroom. I was, everything was spinning around. Why? Because all of the mucus that was leaving my brain, my eyes was very foggy. I couldn't see. I was already wearing glasses, but now it's worse. But on the 17, 18, 19, on the 17 day I woke up, I was looking at the ceiling and I remember feeling so calm. A feeling that I had not experienced in many, many, many years. I was calm. On the 27th day I didn't hear the wheezing in my chest from the asthma. My diabetes, I couldn't find glucose in my sugar. But on the 57th day of fasting, of not eating anything, I had an erection. Why? Why? Aha! They drain out. It drain out because I was taking these herbs and drinking water. Taking these herbs and juice and drinking water. And the body got a chance to do what? Cleanse itself. You see, it's easy. It's easy to bring back that happiness that we could love, that we could share.